Hello everyone, uh, welcome to the video series on UFT um, automation. Uh, in this video, we will look at uh, descriptive programming and we will cover the topic uh, um, dynamic descriptive programming using a Windows based application and obviously it's going to be our sample application. So this was a script that we um, you know, wrote uh, in the last video using our uh, you know, static descriptive programming where we were uh, identifying the objects using this syntax and uh, directly talking to that object. Now, uh, this is a static, and let me do this. You know, I'll say run exit run. I, I was, you know, wanting to delete this whole thing and then, you know, start the dynamic uh, descriptive programming, but I want to still save this so that I can show you the difference. I'll create another action and in this we will use uh, or we will write our descriptive programming I mean dynamic descriptive program I'll copy that one line in there so that I can I can start the application next now let us start using or write our steps using dynamic descriptive programming now with the dynamic descriptive programming uh, we will no longer uh, identify the objects the way we did before the in, in static we will actually create description and then with that is how and we'll use that created description to identify the object and by that what I mean is for example you know our uh, what do you say uh, the login dialog box you know we, we will create an object or create a description and it is uh, uh, created using the statement set and let's say you can give any name you know you like you know description equal to description description dot create so set a variable name equal to description dot create will create a description object and that's a variable that's holding it uh, what I'll do is I'll give some proper name uh, to be used here so I'll say that's my um, description that I'm created and it's called you know it could be any variable I just came dia dialog uh, login to represent uh, the login dialog box of this window now what I'll do is I will start you know, writing description for that so dialog uh, dia login and it's uh, you know make class we, you know, the we have to define what class of description you're working want to work with, and the value value equal to what is a mic class? Mic class is now if you don't know what a mic class is for this screen, again same thing. Use object spy, click on it, click on that uh, screen. It says dialog. That's a make class. That's a class name. Say dialog. Sorry, um, no bracket. So that so that now it's saying that it's a class. The class name is dialog, but that itself is not good enough. Again, dialog dialog in, and now what is a property that I can use to identify that? Oh you know this particular um, dialog dialog box now again you know you can use object spy click on that screen or window and scroll down a little bit here so the text property so the dialog box text property the value of login so I can use that so text
okay so that is pretty much uh, what I would say is uh, login prompt object so these three lines are describing this object and we are literally creating a description uh, object and then defining values and you know we are creating we are identifying that so in order for us to log in we need uh, uh, you know a description to describe the form or the dialog box that's one we already did that then we need something for two text boxes and button that means we need three more things so what I'll do is I will you know do the same thing slowly so that you can follow uh, for for the this login box and then I'll just copy these two so this you want to work on the uh, login text box okay login text box so this it would be um, you can call it uh, txt login or txt username or because maybe you want to keep it close to the class we could do this we can use object spy click on that and this is this is win edit so let's do that okay so what we can do is win edit username so paste that in the mic class dot value what is the make class it's a win but a win win edit right so it will be win edit and again if you have any doubt on that just go there click there win edit okay when it, it's done then now how do you identify this object again same thing right so I'm going to use that click on that copy that paste here so there is a property called attach text so what I can do is copy this whole thing there it's attached text colon Oh, sorry, not call on attached text. Copy that. So that's the value, and the value is agent colon. Replace that with that. So that would uh, now we now you know describe or you know identify that object, which is text box. So and now we need to do the same thing for the password text box and the button. So I'll just copy and paste there. Again, it's very simple. Same, you know, it's the same style. This would be login password text box. This would be okay button. So now we have described four objects. One is the main parent uh, object, which is the dialog box, and then we described two text boxes and one OK button again even for the OK button same thing set some variable name equal to description or create and you're uh, de declaring that the make class is a win button and we are using one of the property to identify that object and again how do you identify the object use your object spy click on the object look for something that is unique and it will help you to identify Okay. Now, once you uh, identify, you know, or you know, I mean to say, describe all these, and this is how now you, that's just description. We are still not interacting. You know, we are not activating the form, sending the text. We are not doing all that. So how do you do? It's very, again very simple. We need to work with the dialog box to begin with. dialog and what's the dialog box that's the dialog box that we created so I want to go to the dialog box activate it 
again I want to go to that dialog box and I want to uh, work with the win edit uh, win edit object you know that's the class right and the win edit is this one win edit uh, username dot what do you want to do I want to set it to text now same thing I want to send the password so I'm going to copy this whole thing here paste it there but we need it this time is not when it username it will be win or the I have w edit uh, w edit for the sake of consistency uh, let me see I'll copy that okay I'm going to take that put there so now it's going to going to work with this and set so password I mean number instead of text it will be mercury because that's a password next after we send user ID and password we need to click the OK button now again we'll start with the dialog box instead of win edit it would be win button and what's the win button that's the object that we created because we created a, a dialog uh, object we are saying dialog that object then win button that object dot what do we want to do with that object or oh, button we want to click it click and this steps would pretty much you know you're describing it and you're using the objects here and that would let you log in now of course this, this step line number two will start the application let's see if this works No, it stopped. Action one and action two. Okay. Action one. Oh, it's not exit. My bad. It should be a exit action. So it will start exit one. I mean, to say it will start action one. We'll read the first line. Done. Actually, it's logged in. See? So let me go ahead and put a breakpoint there just to. Okay, so starting with this, so now it created that object. That's a. Uh, that's the object and then oh okay as you just saw again you know it used these descriptions that we created to you know identify those objects and it you know entered or clicked or you know the data based on these steps again it might look little overwhelming but you know it's quite easy but you know it doesn't matter how many times you want to watch it you will have a problem the only way to mitigate this whole thing is you have to practice hands-on this is something you have to do it this is not like where you know you just you watch the recording and you you watch how how UFT is used to record something and you know play it back look at the results no, you can learn most of that just by watching, but this is something you have to connect yourself to UFT and the way things are done. You have to use your object repository. I mean to say, I'm sorry, an object spy. You have to explore the objects, get the properties, construct your own statements. Do hands-on. That's when you'll learn. Okay. Again, you know, this uh, we'll, we will again you know, use... Uh, descriptive programming when you do frameworks but uh, you know now you know you can expand on this you can you know do the whole process of logging in booking a flight searching for the order faxing it and exiting the application you can do all that now but you know if you use a, a static you can do this way but if you use dynamic you create descriptions and then use it 
probably you can put all this in function file as well if you want to now that we know you know the static way of doing things this one and dynamic here and uh, let's try to understand you know the pros and cons of this number one in static number of lines are less if you look at it right in in dynamic there are more lines right now you're only dealing with one object but let's say you know uh, uh, object name changed okay let's say the dialog box was cha changed to uh, agent login right so that means I have to make a change here and I have to do the same thing everywhere for every line I mean you can do find replace that's a different story but you still have to make all these changes one change requires you to make change pretty much every line but in case of dynamic it's easy all you have to do is change the value here you are done because you're not using this directly you're actually using the object or the description with the variable dia login now whether it is agent name or if it is just login that's a different thing but if there's a change all you do is change here and you're done that's you know that's not the difference now again your pros and cons maintenance you know you need to put more effort when it comes to dynamic uh, descriptive programming and you know in the static one it's not um, and relatively it's less effort that's what I'm trying to tell and again you know hey you know is it good to go with dynamic or static it again all depends on the situation you know both of them have pros and cons and you you know use you know which are works for you and uh, when you want to compare you know when you compare with the OR versus the descriptive programming again the same thing if you run into a web-based application where the applications are not ready but you're supposed to write test cases then you end up using descriptive programming so both have their pros and cons you just have to pick your battle you know you know stick to it and if it that doesn't work after you know after you know growing your testing to a larger you know base maybe you can then move on to different but you need to have proper planning to begin with because the effort that you put into OR I mean you know translating that into descriptive programming you know requires quite a bit of effort for massive application so you make the decision uh, ahead of the game and then you know you go about building framework based on that okay I hope this helped again this is simple I'll do a quick recap we uh, used a static where we used object spy got the properties literally we copy pasted the properties to find and again this is all these are all class we are using dialog box as a class and within that you have in edit same thing and then putting the you know a property to identify that particular class of object then we are doing some sort of operation and in but in dynamic it's a little bit different this is close to the actual script here but the difference is that instead of saying you know using properties to define this pro this uh, class object of the class we are using a description to identify the object of the class the description is the dialog dia login so that this is the we created this description and we create you know assign some properties so we are using that to identify the uh, you know, object of the class dialog okay now uh, you might want to practice practice makes you perfect so you know just spend some time you, you should be fine okay well uh, that's it about uh, windows uh, descriptive programming uh, we will look at um, web base in the next video okay thank you very much and uh, talk to you in the next video